Thank you for attending or watching the Neighborhood Improvement Grant webinar. Today, I am just going to um, go through um, the Neighborhood Improvement Improvement Grant process. My name is Madeline Hinkfus. I'm the Neighborhood um, Engagement Neighborhood Engagement Program Manager. Um, and today, after you watch this, the goal is really for you to walk away with an understanding of the grant process. So if anyone, um, so if you have any follow up questions, um, please just reach out to me and let me know. So the agenda for this webinar. So first, I'm going to give you a overview of the neighborhood resources program. And then we're going to go through the neighborhood improvement grant. We'll go through the details, the key dates, the reimbursement process, the application, project ideas, and questions. So first, a little bit about the neighborhood resources program. So the program supports building strong and inclusive neighborhoods throughout um, the city of Englewood. We want neighbors to feel like they are connected to one another, their neighborhood, to local government and Englewood. And the program really focuses on opportunities to connect residents. So the neighborhood resources program also launched in the spring of 2020. So we are in our third year. Um, the program also offers a different programs that connect neighbors. Um, the first is the Neighborhood Improvement Grant, which is why you're here. The second is the neighbor or the Get to Know Your Neighbor Grant. Um, and neighborhood groups can apply for up to $500 to host a neighborhood activity. This um, type of activity typically takes place um, over one day and they use the money for food or entertainment. Um, you know, plates, napkins, utensils, things like that, and past events that were supported by this grant were block parties, happy hours, picnics, bringing in food trucks, and things like that. We have the Welcome to Your Neighborhood bag, so if you have a new neighbor that just moved into town, you can pick up a bag from the city, and we have a lot of city information in there, um, and go over introduce yourself to your neighbor and give them the bag. Then we have the Snow Buddies program. Those connect um, uh, individuals who are in need of um, getting their snow um, shoveled and volunteers. So we connect the in need and the volunteers and the volunteers are responsible for shoveling their snow buddies walkway and sidewalk. Um, and it's been a really successful program. The next are the probably the two most popular programs. We've got the block party trailer and the backyard movie kit. Um, the trailer has everything you need to throw a block party. It's stocked with essentials like tables and chairs and games. And you can reserve that on weekends starting in the summer. And then we've got the backyard movie movie kit, which is everything that you need to throw a movie night in your neighborhood. Um, and the kit does include speakers, a projector, a screen, and more. And then we do have a free mediation program. So if you're having any issues with any of your neighbors, you guys can sign up for mediation. Um, and that is a free um, service. And then we've got the neighborhood group leader network. And that is for individuals who are wanting to get more involved in their neighborhood. Um, and group leaders from around the area or from around Inglewood come and we brainstorm and chat and um, just network with one another. And that, uh, the next meeting for that is coming up on April 4th, Tuesday. So a little bit about the Neighborhood Improvement Grant. Um, so this is going to be the second year that um, this grant is open and um, neighborhoods can apply for up to $3,000 and these grant projects will celebrate your neighborhood's unique character, engage skills and knowledge from neighbors, improve the quality of life for your neighbors, enhance neighborhood pride and identity, and improve the physical condition of the neighborhood. Um, and then the last part of the grant is there is a 25% neighborhood match that is required. And I will go through that more in detail. So this is the timeline. Um, so grant applications are due on April 17th. The week of May 8th, um, grant recipients will be notified. Um, and then after May 8th, grant projects will begin. And then the final grant report is due on December 1st. So who is eligible for the grant? Um, so projects are intended to implement new improvements to neighborhoods. Projects must be located within the city of Englewood and cannot be on private property for the benefit of the owner. 
And then grant projects must be publicly accept, accessible and projects must be completed and maintained by the neighborhood. So now we're gonna detail the grant match. Um, so when you are filling out the application, um, you must provide a match equal to 25% of the amount requested. 15% of that um, amount um, is provided in the form of volunteer time from the residents that live in the neighborhood. And that volunteer time is valued at $25 an hour. And then the other 10% can be uh, volunteer time, donated services, monetary contributions, or activities that improve the neighborhood. So some activity examples are setting up a neighborhood website, hosting a neighborhood social, distributing a newsletter, or any other activity. So an example of this, so say um, a neighborhood applies for $2,000 and that is approved for Sunshine Neighborhood, a made up neighborhood. So the neighborhood is required to match 25% of that $2,000, which is $500. So there are two ways and there are more than two ways that you can receive the 25% um, grant match. The first is, um, you could just do 20 volunteer hours so that those volunteer hours are valued at $25 an hour for 20 hours that is $500. Um, some projects may not take that long. So you could also do 12 volunteer hours. So that's 15% volunteer requirement and then plan a neighborhood block party, which is the other 10%, which is the neighborhood activity. So there are multiple ways to get that grant match. If you have any questions, just reach out to me and I'd be happy to walk you through that in more detail. So here are the application requirements. We would like you to complete the application, which is found on our website, um, complete the budget form, project, attach a project maintenance plan if that is needed. Um, if this is on private property, please um, attach something that is approval from the owner because it is not city property. Any photos that you have of the area, and then if you could also attach a project location and or map of the proposed area. So what, when you um, submit the application, you will also submit the neighborhood improvement grant form. So um, it is pretty straightforward. Um, part one, which is in green, will ask you um, to list the items and services that the grant funds are needed for. So you can see you list the item, the quantity, the cost, and then the purpose of those. Um, and it's, uh, let's see, it is um, divided into materials and equipment and then services, and then you're gonna total that number. And then the second part we're, is going to ask you to specify the grant match. Um, reminder, this is required. And so you're gonna list the volunteer hours, total those, and then list the donated materials or services or activities that you also plan to do. Um, Please keep in mind at this point, permit fees are not waived, so you will need to include those. And if you have any questions on whether or not you need a permit, just reach out to me. Uh, this form is also listed on the grant website and it's fillable, so you can just download that, fill it in, and then attach it to the application. Okay, reimbursement. So the city will reimburse you for the grant funds when you submit expense receipts and reimbursement forms. And this can be done um, multiple times throughout the year. So say that you are um, printed or printing, you're creating a mural, um, which was one of our previous grant projects. Um, you might have different days that you are completing the project. Um, so say you go to Home Depot in June and you buy $500 worth of paint, you can submit that um, receipt for $500 and then we will send you a check for $500. And then you can also, if you do another project day and say you have $700 and you re then you um, submit that receipt for $700 and we will also send you a um, check for that. So we can reimburse you as many times as you need um, throughout the year for this. Um, and then grant funds must be spent by the end of the 2023 calendar and all expenses must be uh, submitted to me by December 1st or December 2nd. Um, and that is just to ensure that you get the reimbursements that you need. 
So the application review process, um, these applications will be reviewed by a committee that will include um, different staff from different departments. And there are four areas. So the community impact area, um, the projects are um, able to receive 30 total points. And we, as a committee, will look at and see, ask, does this project have a positive impact on the Englewood community? Does it improve the quality of life for your neighborhood? And what is the benefit of your project? The second category um, is neighborhood participation. We really want to see your neighbors getting together and completing the project together. Um, see the neighborhood engaging the skill, their skills, um, and then also detail how you are going to reach out to the neighborhood and how are you going to ask people to volunteer. Um, the third category is connecting neighbors. So think about how this will enhance your neighborhood pride and identity and strengthen connections between neighbors. And then the fourth is project details. We are just simply going to look is um, the application complete? Is the budget form filled out? Um, is there a timeline, a maintenance plan? Is the project ready to go? And is it realistic? So you will see that there is a total of 100 points there. So these are three grant projects that were um, completed back in back last year with the Neighborhood Improvement Grant funds. Um, so the first is going to be a mural. Um, this was just a vacant lot at the intersection of Floyd and Cherokee. And Cushing Neighborhood transformed this empty lot um, with this beautiful mural. You can see there are planters there. And now there is a little library and some benches. And it is definitely enjoyed by the neighborhood. Um, the second is the uh, Bellevue Park neighborhood installed a community sharing box at the Southwest Greenbelt. Um, this has everything from kids' toys to first aid supplies um, to food, um, just, you know, anything that people want to exchange. Um, on the top there is a cage for um, produce that um, the neighborhood can, leftover produce that you would have from your garden, which is really cool. And then on the side, there is also a bulletin board so people can post things that are going on in the neighborhood. And then the third um, project is a little library that was built on the 4200 block of South Pennsylvania. Those are all just really successful projects from last year. So other projects that you could, you know, think about tackling, you could do another community mural, install a bench, a little free library, think about planting trees, um, pet way stations, and um, put up a neighborhood message board, anything like that. So if you have any questions, um, please reach out to me. My email is right there, and that is my cell phone. And then the application can be found at englewoodco.gov neighborhoods. Thank you for your time.